My dream is to someday be a dancer. Not just any dancer, but a real star. Ever since I was a little girl, I've been dancing. My grand took me to see the ballet when I was small. We saw Cinderella, and I can still remember the feel of the red velvet seats against the back of my legs and the sound of the audience humming with anticipation. And then the curtains opened and it was magic. The dancers, like music notes, come to life, graceful and strong. My legs kicked and my toes pointed and I wanted to scramble down the aisle and dance with them. And right from that moment, I knew I had to be a ballerina. I was born dancing, a true blue sky dancer, and I never stop. I danced my way home from school, fast and hard on angry days, my feet biting the sidewalk like mad dogs. Long and slow when I'm sad, and every which way when I'm glad, my feet become drums as they slap, slap, slap on the sidewalk. Stomping souls with stomping soul, and nobody can tell me to turn them down. And I don't need music to dance. But when my when I hear music, my feet are fire, not hot, but kicking like flames themselves, reaching down to the ground, then up into the sky in my tie tops. I fly when I hear music. So maybe I don't have no pretty pink satin ballet slippers, but can you kick the sun to help it up in the morning? Can you jump up and touch the moon? Can you dance with the stars in your hands? I can. Casey Quinn comes from a very poor family that can't afford dance lessons, but she has a dream to be a ballerina in New York City. Is a dream enough, though? Can you really get someplace just because you want it badly enough? Follow Casey's journey into New York City in Someday Dancer by Sarah Rubin.